Hello everyone, Simon here from Super Nerds Gaming and I am back for another video and it's a kind of pick up video but it's not gaming related but it is related to a franchise that I absolutely love which is just over here as you can see the Alien franchise so if you've been following this channel or my social medias for a while it would be apparent I'm a massive Alien fan I have the Kenner toys I have some models over here I have loads of books and graphic novels on it. I've got quite a bit. So as I went shopping today, I went into B&M to pick up some bits and I got sidetracked down the toy aisle because they've always got some sort of cool collectibles down there. And they had some alien stuff as well. So I couldn't just leave it. It was like $7.99 and it was like, ooh, that's really good. So what I got is the Deacon from Prometheus which is pretty cool and I got the warrior alien from aliens Um, I believe these come with ah uh, yeah there we go so if you just see there it's eagle moss now um, I'm familiar with eagle moss in the sense that I used to collect the uh, Star Trek um, model ships that used to come with like a, a magazine and that I imagine this is what these news too because when you take a look at the back anyway it says there's a more of a range in there so you've got the you got the marines uh prometheus which is the engineer predator and the alien and it's just got a bit of stuff on the back of the box about obviously the movie and what the actual creatures related to the deacon i think is um quite a good designed creature um, although it had like just so minimal screen time right at the end of the movie. It was kind of just plugged in there. And um, the warrior alien is like one of my favourite designs. So what we're going to do anyway, now we've got them, is we're going to open up the boxes and we're going to have a little look at the statues and see how good they are in like uh, quality and that. Um, I think I don't know how much these retailed at when they came out with the magazines, but I think it's you know seven ninety nine. They were probably around about a tenner or more. So I think we probably did get a bargain. But we're gonna look at how good the statues look and the kind of quality of them. So looking at the box, it's pretty standard. They could have probably took a better picture of the aliens, but. This is the kind of picture that's been on a lot of the Alien VHSs and DVDs. Now you can see the actual figure, statue, whatever you want to call it, in there. And it looks pretty good, so I'm quite excited to get that out. We'll just swap the box around here, and it gives us a little bit of a description. So, Aliens Xenomorph Warrior. The Xenomorph Warrior is tasked with defending its queen and her eggs. It's even willing to sacrifice itself to protect the nest. Although it can be differentiated from lone creatures in Ridley Scott's 1979 movie by its rigid head, extra skeletal proportions and having one thumb rather than two, the warrior is an equally ferocious killer. So basically it's just saying it's different from the big chap and that's because this was James Cameron's film and it had a different design aesthetic to it. So look on the box and it gives a bit more information. So the definitive Alien and Predator figure collection presents characters from the Alien, Predator, AVP and Prometheus movie franchises in terrifying realistic detail at one sixteenth scale. Uh, as I said, that's like just the DVD cover and the VH of VHS cover that I knew to have when I was younger. Uh, released in 1986, Ripley returns to LV-426 as contact is lost with a newly established colony. This time she accompanied by a team of space marines, but will it be enough? Yeah, so there's some of the ones that you can get in the series. So, I want to know what the statue is going to be like, so let's jump in. So there we go guys, there's the alien warrior, which looks fantastic, it really does. There's a nice lot of colour in that. You know, it's not just like the sleek blackness, it's got that kind of bluey tinge to it. But it looks really good. And, you know, it doesn't feel like too fragile or anything. I mean, 
Can we get some detail here? Yeah, the detail loses it a little bit as you come closer to the face. But yeah, if you look at the bottom here, it's got Aliens Xenomorph for you. But yeah, that, that, that actually looks pretty good. I think that was actually worth uh, the price of it. I always uh, did prefer this design of Alien. Uh, I mean, the big chap from Alien is iconic, but Aliens... I love the the more aggressive design of it with the ridges in it. It more it looks got that more insect look to it, but um, same time when you see it coming out the walls and the hive and it's all camouflaged in, I thought that was a great idea. So there we go. We have the warrior alien there, and I think he looks fantastic. So much like the alien warrior, we have the Prometheus uh, Deacon. In here and you can see the statue in there looks quite nice now the box again gives further information as it did with the other one in 2012 Prometheus set hundreds of years before the original alien feature the appearance of the Deacon gives an unprecedented look at the possible ge genesis the xenomorph of the xenomorph sorry the Deacon is the result of a monstrous trilobite attack and impregnating an engineer so that's basically just the same as what we read on the Alien Warrior. Um, released in 2012, a team of explorers search in deep space for the origins of human life, discover an alien outpost stocked with deadly weapons, and that's like the black ooze, which can mutate them. And that's that. So again, I think we need to just jump into it. And here we have the Deacon. Um, with like it's like placenta or something it's how it kind of rolled out the engineer with this like weird placenta kind of organ attached to it Um, I love the design of the Deacon I just wish we got something a bit more with it you know it kind of was just that snippet at the end of Prometheus and it definitely I do definitely think it was just a tie in to get fans to think oh look it's got alien features and yeah now don't get me wrong I actually like Prometheus even though I do admit the film has got massive faults I do like the film and I do like the fact that the Deacon at the end is a practical effect and it looks great but uh yeah this it doesn't look too bad here yeah. doesn't look too bad I don't think all this kind of um I think that's all obviously just the goo of it being born it's not actually should have these striped in colors um, it's, it's I love how shark like it is and it is very proto xenomorph I mean in its look and that and it, they definitely obviously were going through that well obviously it had like a very contrived birth you know from the trilobite through an engineer to this but um, I definitely do think it's a cool looking statue anyway and um, I do like it as being some you know branch of the aliens xenomorph family thank you guys for watching this just short little unboxing video on some alien stuff just thought to throw a video out there i thought these things were cool it was a nice little bargain and i'd uh, do a little video on it anyway guys thank you for watching i will catch you next time